Hello and welcome. Today I'm going to show you how I turned a $10 Ross cutting board into a sophisticated engraved charcuterie board only using three household items, a ruler, a computer, and a laser cutter. I went online to find inspiration as I'm not too creative myself and one design really stood out. It's a tree branch and then a last name. Now that I had a design, I opened up the program Lightburn, which is a program to control your laser cutter. I made an outline of the cutting board. My cutting board is an 18 by 12, usable space 16 by 10. Now that I had the space that I can work with, I went online to find a tree branch. I went on Google and found a nice tree branch with some cute birds and some hearts on it that I really liked. I imported it into Lightburn. And then I tried turning the image into a vector file, which is what the machine needs. But due to the bad quality, I was having issues. So I went back to Google. I did a reverse image search, found the higher quality image and imported that one. And with that one, there was no issues. The program can easily see the edges. I can see the hearts. Great. I went ahead and saved it, got rid of my image. I added some text, picked the font that I liked, made it bigger and then placed it correctly. I turned off the back rectangle because I don't want to cut that. I adjusted the speed and the power of the laser, made sure my orientation was correct. I looked at the preview and I noticed that I was only cutting it out instead of filling it in. So I adjusted that and we were ready to go. I did a practice run with the Beaver Builds logo to make sure the power and the speed were correct and I wasn't burning my board. Once everything looked good, I jumped right in. This was my first intricate design and I think it came out great. As long as you have a good design, the laser cutter knows what to do. And that's how you turned a Ross $10 cutting board into a sophisticated engraved charcuterie board. Thank you so much for watching.